So we're moving towards being able to solve differential equations um, involving the Dirac delta function. So in order to do that, we need to find the Laplace transform of the function. Um, so we do that by definition. We take the integral from 0 to infinity of the Dirac delta function times e to the negative st dt. That's part of the formula for Laplace transform. Um, we notice that um, this function is 0 except at the value c. So if c is less than 0, then the non-zero part of the function is not inside the integral, and this whole function will be zero in that interval. So that means this uh, Laplace transform is zero if c is less than zero. This makes sense. If, if something happened before time zero, we don't notice it, um, and it's not part of our problem. Okay, if um, c is greater than zero, then um, this function is going to be 0 for all negative numbers. So we can actually take um, the integral along the whole number line of the Dirac delta function, e to the negative st dt. Because if c is greater than 0, then um, adding all the negative real numbers doesn't change anything. This, the value of this function is 0. Um, okay, but then that goes back to the property we mentioned at the last video, where if we have a direct delta function times another function integrated over the whole number line, it just picks out the value of the other function at c, at t equals c. t is the, the changing variable here. s is a constant. So then this is going to be e to the negative s c. Um, okay. Now, what if c equals 0? If c equals 0, um, we have some ambiguity because we're starting the integral at 0. So uh, if we don't include the value 0, then this isn't useful to us. We're just, we're just going to get another 0. So uh, we're going to choose to take the integral from, we're going to call it 0 minus, which is slightly to the left of 0. If we went slightly to the right of 0, it would be a vastly different result. We're going to choose this to make um, our definition of the Laplace transform more useful. So this is now um, including all of 0, if that makes any sense. Um, with integrals, the where the interval starts and ends really matters. Okay, um, now that we're doing this though, we've included the value so it's the same as that case. Um, it would be the same as if we included all the negative numbers as well. e to the negative st dt. And then um, same as before, we're picking out the value of this other function at c. In this case, c equals 0. So it's e to the negative s times 0, which is e to the 0, which is 1. OK, um, but also notice it's e to the negative s times 0. So um, in summary, we can say the Laplace transform of delta t minus c is 0 if c is less than 0, and e to the negative s c if c is greater than or equal to 0. Equal to 0 turned out to be the same as c greater than 0 as long as we took, as long as we went very, very, very slightly left of 0, um, an unnoticeable amount. And that's what calculus is good for.